I don't care if I lose sleep, I don't care if I get sick, I don't care how much money we have to spend, this law will not stand. Hey, it's Eric Byler for TYT Politics. So yesterday, the showdown over the validity of constitutional rights for transgender Americans in North Carolina reached national, even historic proportions as the United States Attorney General Loretta Lynch announced that she would be using the power of the Department of Justice to prevent North Carolina Republicans from enforcing a new government mandate that requires people to use the public restroom that corresponds with the gender of their birth as recorded on their birth certificate and not the gender with which they currently identify. What this law does is inflict further indignity on a population that has already suffered far more than its fair share. This law provides no benefit to society and all it does is harm innocent Americans. Shortly after the announcement, I reached Maura Kiesling. She is the executive director of the National Center for Transgender Equality. Kiesling was one of 54 people arrested in the North Carolina General Assembly to protest the now infamous law. I think she understands how hateful Governor McCrory and his team were for so carelessly using us in some political something that we didn't ask to have anything to do with. Trans people in North Carolina and everywhere were just, you know, living their lives, using the bathrooms when they had to, with no problems. He even admitted yesterday on Fox News there haven't been any problems. How many cases, how many cases have you had in North Carolina in the last year where people have been convicted of using transgender protections to commit crimes in bathrooms? This wasn't a problem. That's the point I'm making. This is the Democratic Party and the left wing of the Democratic Party. But ha have there, there been any cases of this? Not that I'm aware of. Have there been any cases in the last five years? Let, why did the Democratic Party in Houston, Texas... But, in, but I in, guess the question is, but forgive me if I may, sir, no. why not just then let it go if there's, if there's not a case of because transgender a, people going in and molesting uh, uh, little it, girls? It's something I don't think the governor expected or Speaker Moore um, or Senator Berger. They didn't understand that we have friends. They didn't understand that we have loved ones. And that, that we will stand with our friends and they will stand with us. And they have to just be shocked. And let me also speak directly to the transgender community itself. No matter how isolated, no matter how afraid, and no matter how alone you may feel today, know this, that the Department of Justice and indeed the entire Obama administration want you to know that we see you, we stand with you, and we will do everything we can to protect you going forward. I mean, if you were on my Facebook feed, you would see people using words like tears and crying and historic. I simply can't use the men's room. It doesn't make any sense. It would be disruptive. It would be dangerous. I can't do it. So if you tell me I can't use the women's room, that, by the way, I have safely and without incident been using for 20 years, it means I can't use the restroom, and that means I can't work. It means I can't, I can't fully participate in society. If I'm a student and I can't use the restroom, I can't be a student. 